Hey friends, so if you've been trying to record audio off of YouTube or the internet as a whole, you've probably run into a couple roadblocks. Now, you would think that this would be a really easy thing to do considering it's 2021, but at the end of the day, it's kind of convoluted and obnoxious. So I'm going to walk you through how easy this is to set up using Existential.audio's Black Hole app. And as you can see, it will work on an M1 Mac, as you can see this tiny little guy right here. All right, let's check it out. So the first thing you need to do is go to Existential.audio, okay? And you need to click on Black Hole, all right? So in order to get the download, you got to put your email address in and your first and last name. You subscribe, and then they'll send you this email, all right? So I'm going to click on this. And then you can download either a two-channel version or a 16-channel version. For simplicity's sake, I downloaded the two-channel version because for the most part, all my signal routing and all that other stuff, I can do with my UAD interface. But go ahead and download either one of these. The workflow is pretty much the same with either one, okay? Okay, so I wish it was as easy as just installing this and having it work, but the next step we gotta do is create a multi-output device. It's actually really simple. So all we have to do is go to a finder window, go to applications, and go all the way down to the bottom where it says utilities. And then in utilities, we're gonna go to audio MIDI setup, and you wanna be looking at your audio devices, and what we have to do in order to hear the output as well as see it is we're going to hit plus, okay? Now we're gonna create a multi-output device, all right? And so this is actually really simple. You're just going to choose your audio card, whatever it is, and black hole and combine them together, okay? So in my case, it's Universal Audio Thunderbolt, okay? So there's also this drift correction option, and I found that in my case, I need to turn drift correction on for the black hole two channel for things to go smoothly, all right? Now, potentially you don't need to do this, maybe you do, just experiment with it, all right? This is just helping the audio like sync up, all right? So I've got the two channel from Black Hole and my Universal Audio Thunderbolt, all right? So now that that's set up, I can now go to my system preferences, go down to sound, and guess what? I'm gonna choose my multi-output device, RAD. Okay, so now this is Ableton, right? And then in Ableton, I need to go to my preferences, and I need to choose for the input device, black hole, okay? Black hole is now my input, all right? So to kind of just quickly visualize what's going on here, we're telling the computer to send audio out to the UAD card or your sound card, whatever you have, and we're also telling it to send audio into black hole, okay? And so that audio is out there, and now we're telling Ableton, yo, take the input from black hole, okay? Because it's going to black hole and it's going to the UAD, all right? And now as we play the video from YouTube, we should be able to see the audio coming in. Now I've chose, of course, to use my own video because I don't want to get any copyright uh, violations. So I'm just going to play this. And there it is. And so I can see that audio coming in in Ableton. Real quick, I'm also super stoked to announce that I'm finally launching my most user requested Ableton course on sound design and synthesis. This beast, of course, is jam-packed with deep dive tutorials covering every single Ableton instrument and device in thorough detail. Each section also features workflows and actionable synthesis and sound design examples for each device, making it the most comprehensive guide on sound design available on the internet. And to be fair, yes, you can learn anything you want to learn about music production on YouTube, but it's hard to know exactly what to search for. Much of the time, the lessons are scattered and unfocused, if not just plain wrong. I've put together three courses on Ableton production that are chronological and optimized to raise your skills to the next level quickly and efficiently. Between all three of these courses, there's 45 hours of hyper-focused content. So if you enjoy my teaching style and you want to join a rad community of amazing producers, check the links below in the comments and then in the description. All right? Let's get back to it. Now, of course, the audio on my channel can sometimes be compressed and kind of loud, so I'm just going to turn it down a little bit, and we can go back to Ableton. I'll hit in or auto or whatever, and I'll just arm this track. And I also want to switch this over to stereo because I want to record stereo. So now I can just go ahead and hit record, play this audio, dimensional. Now, there's a lot going on with this patch, so what I want to do is I want to build this from scratch, okay? So I'm just going to copy the MIDI that automation that I applied to the wavetable is not going to get copied. Patch. So what I want to do... So you might have heard the audio twice, and that's because I'm sending it to myself, as well as sending it into Black Hole. And Ableton is now playing it 
as well as it's coming into my ears. So if that's something that you want to avoid, all you have to do is just simply turn down the input to your sound card as the audio is coming in, okay? And each sound card is going to be different, okay? Each sound card is going to have a different method of doing that. So at the end of the day, that's how you capture audio off of the computer. So now you can add your Terrence McKenna samples to your next Psytrance hit, or you can dubstep remix the chicken goat. But yeah, there are other apps that help you do this, route audio between apps. One of them is called Loopback, and if people are interested enough in that, I'll make a video on that as well. If you like this kind of thing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of the time I'm covering Ableton stuff. Anyway, much love everybody. I'll see you next time.